Good Wednesday morning. This is the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing. Looking at precipitation the past seven days, quite a wet one across the entire Great Basin areas in green to dark green, anywhere from a, a half inch to an inch of precipitation, higher amounts of uh, an inch and a half to two inches areas highlighted in the yellow. A lot of that did fall in the form of snow. On the right-hand side, you can see percent of normal areas in the blue to purple, about two to three hundred percent of normal precipitation for the week. Just about the entire Great Basin had above normal precipitation. And we had snowfall uh, the last three days. You can see on the left-hand side, especially across the Sierra front into Nevada and up into the mountains of central Idaho, areas in yellow, about six to 12 inches of snow. On the right-hand side, overall snow cover. And you can see that by and large, the vast majority of the Great Basin, other than far southern Nevada and uh, far eastern Utah in the lower elevations, um, they're the only ones that actually have bare ground. Otherwise, everyone else has uh, some form of snow cover and in some of the higher terrain that's in the form of feet. So, uh, again, uh, looking more like pile burning than uh, traditional large-scale burn projects at this point. 100-hour fuels, you can see, have moistened up quite a bit. Areas in the dark green are areas above 20%. And 1,000-hour uh, fuels also have moistened up quite a bit. The green areas are 16 to 20 percent. Only drier areas are in southern Nevada at this point. Satellite imagery shows another powerful storm system hitting southern California. That moisture is moving into southern Nevada, the Arizona Strip, uh, southern Utah as well. So we'll be seeing another uh, r return to some precipitation in those areas. Uh, on the weather map, you can see that low here on the left-hand side moving through. Uh, dispersion best in southern areas uh, under the low. The further north you go, the lighter the winds, the worse the overall dispersion. You can see transport winds on the left-hand side. Mixing heights on the right, the uh, lighter shades of yellow to orange indicate better overall vertical mixing here on the right-hand side. Now, for Thursday, that low dissipates and moves into the Plain States. We have a weak ridge of high pressure building in across the area. Um, dispersion uh, at its worst, where you see the areas in purple across central Nevada, much of uh, central northern Utah, uh, southeast Idaho, and into western Wyoming, a little bit better further south. Uh, transport winds starting to pick up across northern Nevada out of the southwest ahead of the next storm system. Um, enhanced areas there, a gust near 40. Mixing heights also best in those areas. And Friday, that sets the stage for the next storm system slowly approaching the west coast, still offshore, but the winds uh, increasing the axis of high pressure now right along the Colorado border. Notice the better dispersion, a lot more areas in white, very few areas in the purple. Uh, transport winds will be picking up, mixing heights will be improving as well on Friday. The Utah Clearing Index, uh, pretty poor throughout most of the time period, is starting to improve in southern areas a bit on Friday in some of these lighter shades. Precipitation in the next three days, this will be from Wednesday morning through Saturday morning, most significant across the southern Great Basin. You can see, uh, especially down in the St. George area in the Cedar City, some amounts of a half inch or closer to an inch in some spots. Could be snow across the higher terrain, lesser amounts further north, but still enough to wet things down. And then on Saturday, there's a trough low pressure finally moving onshore across Oregon. Lots of moisture, lots of wind pushing in, so we see dispersion overall pretty good areas in the white. Um, and the areas in the white increase again on Sunday. So good overall dispersion, but we will be likely getting significant precipitation during this time. Uh, then Monday, high pressure starts building in across California and the western Great Basin, otherwise large-scale northwest flow. So the best dispersion will be further east, uh, worsening dispersion conditions further west under that high. And then on Tuesday, with the high pressure right overhead, overall dispersion will be going downhill uh, under that scenario. But it looks like that will be short-lived, another storm system poised to kick on in behind it. Uh, precipitation accumulation, These this will be through Saturday afternoon through Monday. Again, uh, significant uh, amounts in the darker green and blue areas here. Now the long range 8 to 14 day outlook, cooler than normal temperatures uh, seen here in the blue across most of the Great Basin, and a wetter than normal signal, especially across Utah. So again, continuing that cool moist pattern, uh, most likely more favorable for pile burning than any other large scale burn projects at this time. This concludes our briefing. Next one will be this uh, coming uh, Friday. Have a great day.